to Camas Community College, Hello. everyone, um, tuning in at home. My name is Brady Williams. I'm the executive chef here at Canlis, um, and I am with our lead reservationist, Amy Wong, and her mother, Kwan. Um, and today we are going to learn about the fundamentals of dumplings. Um, this is our first cooking show, so we have no clue what we're doing, so bear with us. Um, probably just like many of you at home who don't know what you're doing. So um, we're going to walk you through um, kind of all the fundamentals of dumplings, um, starting with uh, the wrapper, the filling, and the sauces. Um, and uh, so hopefully you have all your ingredients together. Um, but first, I want to introduce our guests. So um, Amy yeah. um, has been working at Camus for uh, four years now? Four years now. Um, you started as a food runner. I started as a food runner. I was and terrified of Brady. What's that? <laughs> I was terrified of you. Oh, really? Yeah, you're scary. Sad. <laughs> but, um, uh, but now you're the lead reservationist here, so you are the gate gatekeeper. Can you tell everyone at home kind of like what is the day to day um, of your job? Like the day to day of my job? Yeah. Like what do you do? What do you do at Kenless? Um, I feel like there's a lot of hats to wear um, in that office. Uh, we do a lot of gift cards, a lot of administrative stuff, but also a large part of it is just making sure that all the reservations are good for the day and um, you know, looking out far in advance, um, of course responding to guests and uh, everyone that's emailed me or received an email from me and um, sometimes putting out fires. It goes to Amy. Yeah. If you have a compliment, it goes to Amy. Yeah. Pretty much if you need <laughs> anything from anyone, it goes to Amy. Sometimes I make funny signs to the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, do some calligraphy here and there for people that got my cards. But yeah, it's a whole lot of everything. Awesome. Yeah. You do so much oh, here. And then I sometimes look at your email. Yeah. Yeah. Amy has also uh, functioned as my de facto assistant for the last couple of years because I'm really bad at responding to emails. So, um, And we want to welcome your mother, who we brought in um, for this class um, from Atlanta. Um, can you tell us, or can you have your mom like introduce herself and tell us? Um, about who she is. Yeah, so mommy, Gacy, uh, give away John with something. Mommy, Gacy, when they call them, you're gonna. Uh, 1990? 89. 89? Oh. 89? Okay, so she came to America in 1889. 1989. Not 1989. 120 years ago. 120 years ago. Maybe, uh, um, 30 years. So she's been here for about 30 years. Uh, um, make a dim sum. So, mommy, China, honey. China, you, uh, you, uh, the school, uh, study, the uh, finish it, uh, go to the hotel, mm -hmm. the walking dim sum. So, my mom studied, uh, dim sum in school, um, and then she, uh, started after school, she went to a hotel and started working there and then um, the story she tells me is that she and my father knew that they were going to come to america and she needed to pick up a skill that could translate here to the states um, without needing to speak a whole lot of english um, right off the bat so she started learning how to make dumplings then around 1988 and has been making dumplings since um, so she moved to Atlanta and started at a hotel there where she also continued to learn. Um, and then she now works at the International District in Atlanta making dumplings. And we had dinner last night when we got to know each other and one thing I found out was that for the lot, for 24 years you worked in the same dumpling house. Um, and how many dumplings a day did you make? <laughs> Uh, make a dim sum, uh, make a, maybe a thousand. Maybe a thousand, thousand, thousand dumplings a day. A thousand, a thousand, 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 thousand dumplings a day. So yeah, we're going to see. Three hours or so. Yeah, we're going to see her go at full speed. Um, later. Which is, yeah, later. Um, but we're going to learn the fundamentals first. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited to get into dumpling making with you all. It's not something that, like I know how to do it at all. Like. Um, I think, Amy, you came over maybe a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and we tried to make dumplings at home and I did like three of them and they were really ugly mm -hmm. and I gave up and I just like drank beer and watched um, y'all make them. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to, to do this. Um, yeah, Amy, for those of you at home, uh, Amy 
uh, has been bringing us dumplings at the restaurant um, as like gifts or just as special treats on her days off. Uh, I remember like there's this one like really funny story where it's funny in hindsight, but I think on the same <laughs> day, the like Brian had foot surgery, Mark or did something to his foot. No, Mark had, had emergency had stomach surgery, surgery and I had a concussion and you were like the dumpling fairy and you just basically came off, like came yeah, around and like brought us all Yeah, we made like, like 400 dumplings, dumplings and dropped them off to yeah, all of you. Which was like super sweet. And ever since then, I've been trying to get Amy to open her own dumpling restaurant. Um, any potential investors out there, uh, feel free to uh, email info at canlist.com if you would like to invest uh, after this uh, tutorial. I think that would be um, great. So um, we also have Jason Colt. Uh, our pianist, who has been uh, performing for you um, at dinner time for the last like seven months or something. Um, he's jamming. We can't hear him, so I have no clue if he's playing right now. <laughs> Pretty sure he's playing something for y'all at home. Um, he's also was on the Bingo show, um, and we're stoked to have him here tonight. So um, I think that we should like dive into dumplings um, and start making them. Um, I think first we should like walk through all the ingredients. Hopefully you have this stuff at home. Um, we went shopping for all these ingredients yesterday. Um, we know that a few of you had a hard time finding dumpling wrappers. We actually had to go to three different stores to find them ourselves and we didn't even get the brand that we wanted. <laughs> so um, that's to encourage you. We're sorry if you're bummed out. Um, but we have our dumpling wrappers here. Um, can you talk a little bit about a wrapper? Can you guys talk about like a wrapper and what makes a good wrapper? I think that would be yeah. So a good place for to start. for me, it's just about personal preference. Um, I think it's not too thin, not too thick. If it's too thick, it's really gummy and hard to eat um, as as you're making them. They're also a little harder to work with. If they're too thin, they break during the cooking process, and then liquid comes up. You know, gets um, in it, and it's just not as good. Um, my personal preference is the Twin Marquis Northern style dumpling skins. They are a little thicker than normal, but like just like the right amount of thickness. Um, and then also it's a, it's a little bit about elasticity, but not too much. It's like the word mouthfeel is what my mom tries to, it's like the translation she tries yeah. to give to me. Um, my mom likes to make her own yeah. um, because the store-bought ones are a little harder to work with because um, they are a little bit more dried out. Sure. But um, when we make them at home, it's really simple. It's just flour, yeast, um, salt, and a little bit of sugar. So awesome. usually Which, and, and just for those of you that are following, um, we have made some, yeah, so um, have, our mom made some earlier and yeah, we're going to walk you I'm through happy. that process. So we have some dough made already um, and we have the raw ingredients to make mm -hmm. dough. So if you want to reference this later, um, we, you can do that and make your own dumpling wrapper. Um, at home, which is super cool. Like I've never done this before. I've always wanted to learn how to make dumpling dough. Um, it was really funny. Uh, mom was just, and we'll get into this later, but like mom was just, adding things by eyeball and I had a scale there and was just trying to like follow her from behind and like There's measure no everything because there is no recipe it's all I, by I feel it. um, and it takes hundreds of thousands of dumplings at this point mm -hmm. um, to master that so i um, super excited to see you do that but let's walk through the rest of the ingredients real quick um, we have scallion or chive I don't know um, chive is your preference yeah um, but if you can't find that in the store, scallions will be just fine. Yeah. Uh, we have some ginger here. Uh, we have some shiitake mushrooms. So the shiitake, um, these are dried shiitake. Um, when we were at the store, I grabbed the wrong brand of shiitake um, and mom yelled at me for that um, and she found her own. But she, mm -hmm. what I found is she likes the smaller ones that are um, like the little bit more like petite. They're like, mm -hmm. I don't know, one and a half inch or one inch round. Um, and they're a little bit more tender, yeah. is what she was saying. Um, if you buy dried, you need to make sure you soak them in warm water for like 10 minutes or so? Yeah, like 10, 15 minutes before um, you work with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our ground pork here, um, which we bought just like a high quality pork um, from Awajimaya. Like we bought a Kuroboda po pork. Um, at the restaurant here, we use Olsen Farms. Mm -hmm. um, we want like a 70-30 blend. Yeah, correct? so 70-30 or 80-20, you generally want to use a um, meat that pork that's a little bit higher fat content. Um, it's just juicier when you bite into it, and yeah. it's it's harder to, to overcook. Yeah. Um, you can also, my mom also likes to use shrimp, like chopped up shrimp and uh, With the ground, pork or ground, instead of pork? In, instead of. So instead of. you can use 
other ground meat if that's yeah. what you prefer. If you're, Are there if, any if rules to the filling or can you kind of just do it? Um, you can really put whatever you want in it. Um, I would just be conscious with um, heartier vegetables, yeah. needing to cook them and cool them down before adding them into the mix. So um, the dumpling cook time is typically around six minutes. So mushrooms, stuff like that will cook really quickly. Um, but stuff like carrots and, you know, if you ever do like a potato dumpling, you should cook them beforehand. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, so then we have some ingredients here for the sauce. Mom has some ingredients to make the dumpling flour or the dough, dough. which we'll do in a little bit. Um, how about we start on the filling? Yeah. Um, and then we can kind of move into the sauce making yeah. and just kind of have that ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then we'll like fill and, and go from there. Yep. Oh. This is Brian Kim, let's if you don't know. Fresh. Pardon? Our dried ones, we just as good as Mom, fresh for mushrooms. Mom prefers dried, dried, just because it's what she's worked with. But fresh are fine if they grab shiitakes. Um, and we're using shiitakes, but mush, uh, button mushrooms, like uh, creamy mushrooms. You can really use whatever you like. Yep. Here, here are the, the shiitakes that, that Mom picked out yesterday. And here's Mark with keeping us hydrated. Mark, I'd love a beer if you could beer. Um, but um, a little, yeah, they're a little bit smaller, like, and they uh, plump up. So you can see here, they plump up quite yeah. a bit once you hydrate them. So um, yeah, the dry ones, they have a nice chew to them. I think a little bit more structure. Yeah. Um, For those just joining. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I just got a cue card that said uh, we'd like to reintroduce uh, to reintroduce Amy and her mother, Kwan. <laughs> so uh, for those of you that are just joining us, um, this is uh, Amy um, Wong. She's our lead reservationist at Can Canlis and Dumpling Extraordinaire, mm -hmm. um, among like a million other things, and a dear friend of mine, and her mother, Kwan, who has been making uh, dumplings professionally for over um, 30. 30 years. Uh, and is um, we're just like so happy to have you here and so honored to have you. Um, been hearing about, been hearing about mom's dumplings for years now and every time Amy makes dumplings they're never she's like these aren't as good as my mom's they're not as good as my mom's and we... uh, last night I got to have mom's dumplings yeah. and they're very good um very very good yeah like some of the best dumplings I've ever had so um let's dive in filling? I think we're good to dive in let's mm -hmm. go get in with the filling so we have our one pound of pork ground yeah. pork here um oh mom you. you're gonna walk us through how to make the filling okay mommy for my yeah. You, uh, so do you want to start chopping chives? You, are, are you going to chop chives? Are we going to do this all together? Yeah. I'll just start. We should each do. We should each do this together. So we'll just do. The, okay. We'll do our own. So this is salt. Have, have salt, have right? Yep, yeah, salt. Salt. Okay. So we're putting the salt in. Okay. Salt. A little bit of sugar. I know it wasn't on the list, but I assume most of you have yeah, sugar. it. That's like a. If you don't have sugar, go send uh, someone to go get sugar real yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, two, two tables? Two tablespoons? Two, two teaspoons. Wait. That was like, so, hold on, that was like one and a half teaspoons. Looking at that correctly. Yeah. And then okay. we got, yeah, we're going to mix it up. Uh, mommy, they have, you know, eek, eek, eek. Okay, so she typically uses her hand to mix it. So yeah. if you're holding, Not you can't so. use your hands. If you've washed your hands. Not yeah. so. um, water. Sorry? Water. So a little she, water? She adds a little water in. Okay, so that was a little bit of water. How much was that, Amy? That looks like like a fourth of a cup. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. about a quarter cup of water. Put the knife over here. Just gonna keep everything nice and moist. And then we need to... Mm -hmm. What are we doing there? And then she's adding a little bit more water. It's like another, like... Yeah, like, okay. two more. So that was like yeah. two tablespoons of water. And Amy, yeah. can you tell me like what we're looking for here? Hers looks way better than mine. So. Oh, hers is just more like emulsified. Yeah, it's just more moist. So you want to just kind of like, what well, looks like we're just like working the pork and just yeah. kind of getting it nice and emulsified. We need um, two eggs, we've got two eggs. Oh, we have, <laughs> hang tight. I'm going to get two eggs real quick. Yeah. So, so she just added around a tablespoon of soy sauce in. Um, the brand that we use is just a dark mushroom soy, um, but any soy sauce that any soy sauce that you have at home should work fine for it. And then how much soy sauce was that? Um, like a tablespoon. Yeah. And then egg. Mommy. Wait. Soy sauce. A lot of it. 
thicker. Does she like a particular brand of soy sauce? Or yeah, is there any so qualities in soy sauce that she's... She uses a soy sauce that is like a dark mushroom flavor soy sauce. Um, just to give it a little bit more flavor, but any normal soy sauce will do at home. Um, she also added her egg in. Let me slow down. I know, yeah. Hold on, mom, <laughs> slow down. I'm like... Why do you like that? Okay, hold on, so... Okay, so we have... My hands are weak. Actually, yesterday we, we were eating dinner together and I was complaining about hand pain. We're talking about hand pain because... And, um, and then mom gave me pressure point massages on my hands so I'd be uh, plenty strong to make dumplings today. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. Can, you, can I use your special? Yeah. Okay, so I feel like she used a little bit more water yeah. because the meat mixture is just a, like a little liquidy. Lo looser, yeah. Just make sure it's mixed very well. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> All right, I think I'm like kind of yeah, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 cool. yeah, 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 And then okay, next, so we have to do okay, mushroom mushroom. Then. So, mom, we gotta go slow. So we got that's like two small handful. Chimo idea, mommy, slow one. I'm saying fire. She's just doing a rough chop. Yeah. You always have a cold beer or something. A cold beer when making dumplings. Making dumplings. Okay, so just kind of rough chopping it. Same to Jinga. Okay. So she's dicing them. Yeah. Same for your beef. And is this like, is there a certain amount you're looking for? Is it just kind of arbitrary? Or you just? It's arbitrary to your preference. My mom likes it smaller. Yeah. Um, that way you're not just biting into a dumpling and just getting a whole mushroom. You're right. Okay, so, so far we have the ground pork. We have about like a half cup, maybe a little bit more than a half a cup, cup of water. water. Um, we have like a tablespoon of the dark soy. Um, soy sauce. And yeah, the soy sauce. And then we have uh, some salt, like maybe like a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a, or a teaspoon of salt and like a teaspoon and a half of sugar okay. as well. And an egg. And an egg. One egg. Oh, and the egg. Yeah, I'll put the egg in there too. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, so I think we're caught up. Hopefully, you're close to us at home, but we'll allow you to buy some time. Okay, so the ginger. She grab the ginger next. We have Banana some ginger. And. Go ahead, let's go on the ginger. ginger. So how much ginger are we looking at? Oh, I've never seen this technique. I've technique. never seen this before either. I've never seen this technique either. I normally use... So she's not even peeling the skin. She's yeah, just she's going not for peeling it. the skin. Normally when you peel the skin, you can use like a peeler or a lot of people use the spoon. But she's not even peeling the skin. I have a much bigger piece of stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to cut this because that scares me. Me. I'm like. <laughs> I'm over here watching. I can you ask her why she leaves the skin on? Or does, Mommy, what, does it matter? My mom says you can do it or you can't. Just whichever you prefer. Okay, so she doesn't really. She doesn't, we did like a half cup of mushroom. I guess someone at home just asked how much mushroom. Not even, maybe actually a quarter cup packed of diced mushroom. Um, but it, again, it's arbitrary. The mushroom. From my understanding, Amy, correct me if I'm wrong. That just like does that just add umami and structure and some like depth of yeah. flavor, right? Yeah, depth, depth of flavor and also just like a contrast, um, the texture. Um, you want to just not have like a lump of meat, <laughs> you know, other stuff um, that's in there. And then the rest of the stuff is also just aromatics um, to make your dumplings taste delicious. Okay. Chimbo up. It it yeah it. it 
when I'm making my spelling, I don't really measure. Yeah. Um, it's all just kind of like yeah. to eye, right? Yeah. It's we we just eyeball it. It's like it's like today I'll I want more mushrooms, you know, or I'll do more or less. So it's yeah. You like so that, really can't go wrong. Yeah. The it's, recipe or the recipe that we gave, I think, had a little bit more mushroom than we're doing right now. You can have as much or as little as you you like. It's not gonna mess up your filling, mm -hmm. right? It's just gonna be kind of like you'll just have more filling. Okay. So mom. How much? So this this much ginger. That much is that ginger. Like, like a tablespoon? I would say that that's like a little bit more. It's like a heaping tablespoon of ginger. Shimoa. My my. Okay. If you're pack if you're packing so, it. So around a tablespoon of chopped ginger. Um, again, sort of up to your discretion. You can grate it using a cheese grater. Um, you yeah, can chop microplane. it. Microplane. A microplane. You can um, chop you, it the same way that. You can peel it with a spoon. It. You can peel it with a peeler. You can do whatever you want. Um, My I've never seen the second <laughs> using the back of the knife to just like hammer it. Uh, why she leaves the skin on? She she's saying that you are welcome to leave the skin on or take it off. She she thinks that when she when it when you leave it on it smells better when you when you eat the dumpling. Um, that's her preference. <laughs> Is that the way she does it in her restaurant? Yeah. She just cool. uses the whole thing. Awesome. Sweet. Chives uh, next? Chives. So y'all do some chives. I'll do scallion if that's so cool. Hai, hai yao, so we'll just contrast. So whatever you have at home is fine. You don't want to use the root of the scallion. And then you're just kind of like rough chopping this, correct? Yeah. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the inside of the dumpling dough is very, or the inside of the dumpling filling is very forgiving. The, the filling's forgiving. Yeah, the, the filling's forgiving. The dough is not. <laughs> I would say if you're at home right now, too, like, once we get the whole thing mixed up, mixed, like, one thing that we'll do at the restaurant is anytime we're making a filling, like, or, like, a sausage, is we'll just take a piece of the full mixture and we'll just, like, sear it off in a pan mm -hmm. and be like, does this taste right? And if it's not to our preference, um, we'll just adjust the seasoning accordingly, especially with, like, salt. Like wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. Yeah, start, so yeah, if you're, not, if you're at home, we're about 10, 15 minutes away maybe from like cooking dumplings. I don't know. So you should have like a pot of water on um, at like a, a, like a, not a hard boil, but just get it up to the temp. Um, get it like kind of percolating and then you'll be ready to cook. But um, pot, of, pot of water doesn't really matter. We want salted water too, right? Yeah, salted water. So you should salt it like the sea, like yeah. pasta. So it should taste like the sea. Amy, what's the name of your mom's restaurant? Um, the one she's at right now is Happy Valley Seafood in Norcross, Georgia. And she recently, so this is, so she was cooking at one restaurant for yeah, 20, 24, 24 years. 24 years. And then you just started at this one. As, yeah. And you're redoing the menu there. Yeah, she's helping them menu. with uh, their dim sum program. So she's switched over. Um, okay. All right. So, so my mom's putting all of that in. Okay, so if you could see, mom has a lot more than I do, which but is it's fine. fine. And I'm just gonna do this because this is all yeah. the scallion I have. Um, Mommy, phone, phone, yeah, all right, so let's just go, right? Yeah. You give me a spatula. Wait, 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 mommy. Play, play the okay, mama. Enjoy. Um, okay, so then these Mix. are all our ingredients, right? In the um, filling. We have the mushroom. We got salt, we got, yeah, ginger. Salt, sugar, ginger, shiitake's. mushroom. Yep, I think we're good. Scallion, cool. Um, Mix up. Mommy, right, down below, oil. there's a oil. spatula. Sorry, I'm asking for Like just a red-handled spat so I can mix. I'm ill-prepared um, for this. Do you use the green and the white part of the scallion? Um, I, when, I use, when I cut scallions, just like I use the white part and then I don't use the tips of the scallion. Uh -huh. um, um, but um, you um, can um, do whatever um, you want. But typically I just use the whites into the light greens and then like a part of the dark for something like this. But Thank you, Mark. And I think the last part is the sesame oil at the very end, my mom said. At the very end. Okay, yeah. so. Once we get it nice and mixed, let's yeah. show everyone at home what we have here. Yeah. And then we can add. So. Okay, so let's just show the cameras there real quick. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, a lot more scallion. Not as much scallion here. We have some sesame oil uh, right here. 
Okay. Two teaspoons. Yeah. Almond. Two teaspoons. Yeah. Almond. Two. Two teaspoons. Yeah. Almond. So sesame oil is gonna give it like a little extra fat and like a nice like toasty, toasty nutty, nutty flavor, nutty, right? Yeah. Um, I would say that that's the one thing that I usually don't skip. Whenever I'm doing dumplings, I'm usually doing um, some sort of ground meat, um, some vegetable, and then, um, of course, salt, um, soy sauce, and then the sesame oil is the last thing. So um, you can switch it up, you, you know, whatever meat you want, whatever veggie you want. The, the sesame oil for me is really important. All right, keep giving this a good thing. Can you over mix it? No. No? Okay, so. You can't over mix it, which means you can just, all you're gonna do by mixing it is just emulsifying all the ingredients Mix together. together. Um, so it's kind of binding everything. Your egg is your binding agent. Um, it's just gonna kind of like be like a nice, like homogenous filling. Mm -hmm. is, is this just all toasted or regular? Uh, so this is. No the, someone just asked if the sesame oil is toasted mm -hmm. regular. This no is not toasted. This is just regular. Yeah. Um, I tend to just not toast oil. Get toasted oil. If we wanted to toast it, we'll just toast it ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, but just stick to like kind of the basics. Like that's Pet Petoya brand, like Kikamon, um, oh, are the brands that I'm familiar with. Does Does your mom have a specific brand of? This is the one we also use at home. Okay, so Kadoya, which you can get at like Wajimaya or at yeah, the Asian food food mart up north. Um, There's most, a big, pretty much any, yeah most grocery stores. The uh, like Fred Meyer and Snake Bay will carry it in like their like Asian food aisle. Yeah. Okay, so. We have our filling. Yeah. And we're gonna set that aside for right now. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think dumpling that dough? we should make the dumpling. What's that? Yeah. Dumpling dough. The dumpling dough. Apparently that brand is toasted. Oh. Oh, it didn't say toasted. Well, I guess it is toasted. Someone just was like correcting us. So. <laughs> okay. That's what I know. Um. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So. We're gonna just transfer this. Mom likes to work out of a shallow bowl. It's a little bit easier to work with. Did you Google that or did someone direct you? Many people know that brand. I feel like that's toaster. Yeah, well. Oh, they put it in. Let's see this. We'll come back to that later. Your chef and then is the damn thing. Uh, uh, mom's bowl up close. Okay, yeah. Mom, mom Mom's bowl. Master. Yeah. And then, yeah, the plebe. <laughs> right, so I came underprepared, like 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 underprepared, disorganized. I have my spatula, um, and we're gonna talk about okay. So the wrapper now. So we have our filling. Um, we'll make the sauce in a little bit. We could do that, um, but um, we have this store bought dumpling, dumpling wrappers. wrappers here. We got these ones from the Asian fam um, family food mart, mart yeah. um, up north. It was the third store that we went to. People are just sold out. Apparently, we're not the only show, dumpling show in town. Um, so, um, yeah, I know it's been kind of hard to get, but um, I was really curious, and I didn't know if we were going to do this or not, mm -hmm. if we were going to make dumpling dough, but mom told me that she wanted to show yeah. um, us, a, show everyone at home what she likes okay. to do. Um, so we're going to make the dough from start, start to finish. Yeah, lots of questions about the difference between gyoza between wonton, between, can you talk about the different types yeah. of wrappers and stores? Yeah, so, yeah, someone at home, and we're just getting some mm -hmm. cued off, off of, um, okay. cued off of screen here. Okay. We're asking about the different types of dumplings, gyoza mm -hmm. versus wonton, um, versus shumai versus soup dumpling, and a lot of those are regionally specific, yeah. but I think in terms of, like, Chinese culture and what you grew up with, mm -hmm. can you tell us? What um, what are the difference between like wonton uh, and like and the dumplings we're gonna be making? So this is just a wheat wrapper with um, generally flour, oil, salt, maybe a little bit of sugar. My mom does use yeast in hers, so hers is a little different. Um, but you can so gyoza is typically fried, right? Pan, pan fried often. Yeah, so pan pan fried. So with these pot stickers, we will pan fry and boil them. So you can do them either way, it's sort of whichever cooking method. Um, I'm not sure with gyoza if there's a difference in the wrapper, but with wontons, um, it's the same, except um, instead of using water, you're using egg for that moisture content. So wonton wrappers are very similar to like a, like a traditional Italian pasta dough, um, which my mom also knows how to make, but today we're just doing the simple um, wheat wrappers. 
um, the Xiaolong Bao, like the soup dumplings, um, that is the, the, the filling is the same, except there is the addition of the soup component, which is basically gelatinous soup. You just basically cook down a bunch of bones that has a high gelatin content. Um, you chill it and it's solid. And then when you mix it into the meat, it is a solid. So you um, have to keep it cold the entire time. So you have to keep it cold the entire time. Um, and then as you're wrapping it, um, you know, it's it's solid. But then when you cook it, that's that's when it, you know, gets warm and becomes a soup dumpling. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Give us a, we're gonna, the recipe for these? We're going to make that right now. Yeah, so we're going to make it right, yeah, right, right now. You're asking about gyoza. I, I grew up with gyoza at home in Japanese American household. We never really made them, or maybe we did. Um, my grandma's watching right now, and it's probably, like, yelling at me, telling me, like, the Don't time that we made it, and I did it wrong. Um, but I, we used to just buy them. Like, yeah. um, I think I made gyoza, like, twice, and it mm -hmm. was horrible. So, like, horrible in the fact that, like, I can't do the folds, and you're about to see that right now. So, um, yeah, we're going to make this dough dumpling together. I think I'm going to just, like, touch this real quick. Like, it's definitely, like, softer and more pliable mm -hmm. um, versus, like, the store-bought stuff that's, like, you can just hold it and it keeps its structure. Um, and that's made with a dumpling flour. So we got this dumpling flour yesterday. It's a wheat flour for bun. For bun, but you can um, use... There was one that said wheat flour for dumpling, and she said, no, no. that's the wrong one. You need this one. So we got this um, one. You can also just use a normal all-purpose at home. We made them at home yesterday with just general, like, gold all-purpose flour. Cool. Um, so yeah, mom, we have some, the dough already made, but can you walk us through, yeah. um, let's bring everything up here, um, and we'll walk oh, you through, sorry. I wrote down the, can I share the recipe? Yeah. Um, this is, what's really cool about this was, this recipe, she basically just starts with a pound of flour and then everything else is by feel. Um, Brian, can you like give me that piece of paper that's right there? Because I like, I went behind her and like, and what happens if you I use wrote, AP instead, is it not work? No, it's, it's, it's perfect. That's, that's what we use yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, if you use AP flour, is that, we were just talking about that, but I think some people miss that. Like, is there any difference in the results? Well, what's it wrong? No, it's, it's, it's fine. So yeah. yesterday we made the same dumpling dough. All I had at home was all purpose flour. Yeah. I didn't have the fancy flour. My mom was disappointed in me. Um, but yeah, we used AP flour yesterday. It's it's fine. She just prefers a this flour. It's just what what, what she's used. Um, generally, when looking for flour, you do want something that's a little bit more on the medium scale as far as gluten content. Um, somewhere I think between like twelve to fourteen for every hundred uh, grams of flour. Twelve to fourteen. Gram, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Um. So, so wait, we wait. have, real quick, so we're just going to start, this is all rough because she kept adding stuff and then taking away stuff and adding, and so um, I'm going to just talk you through it real quick. It's about a pound of flour, it's about two grams, which is like of yeast. a pinch, like a three finger pinch of dry active yeast, two grams of salt, which is like, I think there's sugar in there too. Yeah, sugar. that's like a teaspoon of salt and sugar. Mm -hmm and then six grams of vegetable oil. oil. And then it was like 265 grams of water, which is like a quarter, a quarter of a liter, so that's like a cup, a cup of water. So one more time, pound of flour, like a three finger pinch of yeast, dry active yeast, uh, like a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of sugar, six grams of canola oil, which we're just gonna watch her do it because um, I can't tell you like what that looks like. And then um, it's 200 in a little bit more than like a cup of water. And we... cold water always, I was getting warm water. She corrected me. It's cold. Like in pasta, if you make pasta, it's mm. often warm water mm -hmm. or like room temp. Piece it she, out, she warm temp, cold and water. she likes cold water. Is there a reason for that? Um, it, it has to do with your cooking method. Um, I know for one, if you use warm water, it's better for steaming or something. Um, if you use cold water, it's better for pan frying. I don't know. It's there's some Real. difference, but my mom yeah. just uses cold cold water. Okay. Um, and she uses her hands. Should we get her some gloves? No, she can just use her hands. Okay. We got towels. Okay. Just okay. us eating it. Okay. So, okay, so yeast. Yeast. Fong 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 la ching mommy. You can just do your thing, mom. Yeah. Sugar and salt, which we've mixed together from earlier. Water. So 
So she adds in half of the, the amount of water and slowly mixes, mix it, mixes it all in, um, and then continues adding it as she needs. Yeah. Yeah. So she, <laughs> she has this dowel that when she makes the dumplings with, she, she uses to roll, but also to mix with. Oh, yeah? So it's, a, it's an all-purpose tool. tool. It's kind of like a mortar and pistol. Yeah. I know. This is super cool. I've Mom, can you describe kind of like what you're looking for? Can you maybe show the bowl and then describe what you're looking for at this point? So she's adding oil in right now. Um, the, I, what she says is just it helps the elasticity of it. Yeah. But mommy, they jingan they hai taigan hai yu So it looks like the dough is just starting to come together. Like everything is just starting to adhere to itself. Um, it's still pretty clumpy. Um, I think so. Yes. Yeah, I think you can. But you kind of just want to incorporate well, so it. So right now you should be at this point. We're not there. We're not there yet. We're about halfway there. Yeah. So we have about half the water, uh, the oil, the, the salt and the sugar in there, correct? Um, and the pound of flour. And then we're going to add the rest of the water. And it, I'll have a little bit more here. Just in case. Because now this is like when it comes down to like feel, right? Like there's not like... She knows this because she's been doing this for 30 years. Like she's just going now. She switches. She's gonna start to bring, kind of folding the dough, bringing it all together, just like you would work a pasta dough, or bread. And now it's just all about feel. So she does use wheat flour, all-purpose flour, to make the dumplings. Um, if you can find it in your local mart, she's adding a little bit more flour in. Um, but if you can't find it in your local mart, uh, tapioca starch or potato starch helps with the dumpling skins from sticking together after you've made them. Yeah. 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 This is thirty. Yeah. She's done this like how many times? Does she make your dough every day? Every day I jing a. Every day jing a. That thing is uh, one week. So she does it once a week. So I Put think what she does is they, they switch Put from different like dumplings because dim sum is you have like your 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 uh, hot gal and your shumai. So your shrimp dumplings, your pork dumplings. There's just so many different kinds. Um, so they they do them all in like a huge batch. But she she makes this particular dumpling once a week. So now you're out of the out of the bowl and she's just working the dough, mm -hmm. kind of developing the gluten. So just kind of rolling it on itself. If it's starting to, if your hands stick, or if your board just sticks, just rub some flour on you um, on your hand and on the you board. And I think we might need that bowl still. It. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, so, can we leave it on the board? Are we done? Yeah, because now it's like the rest okay, time. So now we have it. If I could just show you. Okay. So. You, it does seem like you can't overwork it, right? Yeah. She wants it to just kind of come together and be homogenous. It's not really springy, so if you overwork it, it's going to be really tight. You can tell like we're pressing into it, and the indentations are staying there, and I think that's an important quality to look for. It's not sticking to my hands, and as like I stick my finger in it, I'm not really getting a lot of, like it's not sticking to me either. So I think those are kind of qualities to look for. It's pretty pliable pretty loose, but it's definitely like one, one mass. mass. So at this point, we want to put it back in the bowl. We want to cover it and we then let it rest. 20 minutes usually. And what is letting the dough rest do? Can you have your mom explain? I mean, it's the same for bread, right? You're just, just letting the gluten. For those, for those of people at home that don't know, can you explain what resting yeah. does? No. No. <laughs> so you're basically just allowing everything. <laughs> but like you've just like worked the dough, so what you're allowing mm -hmm. to do is just like allowing everything to settle. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you've been like stretching it, it making more it really pliable. tight. Yeah, it like relaxes um, and will uh, basically get the properties that you're looking mm -hmm. for um, in your final product. So this is what it looks like after it's been rested, and we've like ran this through actually a couple times. So you can see it's already like smoother. Um, as a ball. So mm -hmm. that's after, I mean, that, we made that maybe an hour ago. Yeah. Um, you just want to keep it covered. You won't over rest it. Um, you obviously don't want to keep it in like too warm of a place because then it'll start to like proof. Um, but 
Uh, keep it in like just kind of like a room mm -hmm. temperature environment, covered. Um, so it and then out. you have this, and so you can either roll it out by hand, or if you have a pasta, pasta crank, mm -hmm. you can just um, roll Jumma? out. So we're gonna watch mom roll out some. So she's just flattening a little bit so that it's easier to work with and just um, making sure that both sides are floured so it doesn't stick when it goes through. If you've ever made pasta at home, it's the same principle. Um, she's just working it, working it through. So, cool. so we are lucky that we have um, these little me uh, metal cutters here. Um, to help cut, but um, whatever you can find at home, if you don't have it, I used uh, mason jar lids at home to cut them yesterday. It's kind um, of like making biscuits, cup. right? Like yeah, biscuits, like, yeah, like biscuits. I grew up like cutting biscuits with, with like, cups. A cup, right? Yeah, so if you have like a cup you can use, that's perfectly fine. Um, she's gonna stretch this out pretty thin. So as she's working, she's just making it thinner and thinner. Yes, um, growing up, so she actually worked six days out of seven, maybe seven out of seven if it's like the holiday season, um, but I remember just on her days off, sometimes we would do this together, um, and my brothers wouldn't help, but I would, um, but when I was younger I couldn't pleat, so I would just like smash the dumplings together with my hands. Uh, and I would get to eat those because she wouldn't eat them. I actually made dumplings yesterday. Yeah, this is funny. And I, I, I thought I got so much better. I was like, oh, my pleading skills are great. And then I made them for her yesterday, and she's like, still ugly. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a hilarious story. So, she made, you made dumplings with your mom yesterday, and your, your mom actually refused to cook your dumplings. Yeah, she refused because to cook my dumplings. They weren't pretty enough. And I was like, you could have brought them over. And then. But like she didn't bring it to like I was like I'll take whatever and she was like no we no. can't serve these are unservable no. <laughs> so um, just wait for the color commentary on um, uh, I'm, my I'm dumpling. Okay. And our water here, what okay, I'm doing okay. is our water is just reducing a little bit too much, so I'm just adding water to keep our level because okay, cool. we're going not that. So she's putting a little bit more so, um, all-purpose wheat flour on top and then just cutting them to, to the what size that you want. What thickness is that? Like, can you like hold, can, we, can you cut that and just like hold up like? I mean, I can hold it up like this. Yeah, but... so it's like, I don't know what the, like a mil, two millimeters thick or something? Like it's not, it's pretty, it's. Three sheets of paper. It's the same thickness as the store-bought one, like pretty much exactly. So if you're like following along at home. Yeah. Or if you want to like make some at home, maybe just go get some wrappers. And what? you can just be like, this is kind of like what you're looking for, but. What, what I would also recommend at home is the, so we've had our dumpling skins sitting out for about an hour right now. They're kind of dry, the ones on top. Yeah. So a little trick is just get a napkin, wet it with some water and just, just uh, keep a wet twi yeah, on top twist it and, and just put it on top. That way your dumpling skins aren't, you know, cracking as you're picking them up. Um, the ones underneath it are fine, but the ones on the very top are really dry and you don't, you really yeah. don't want to use those. Sweet. Um, Awesome. Is your mom gonna? We can, I think, move on to filling yeah. dumplings now. Yeah. Let's make some dumplings. So, Ika, Gawa, mommy. so we're ready to go. Ika. We want to see her in action. Yeah. Okay, so. Where can we put this, though? What's up? Just grab any bowl. Just put it here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Got ching, ching. okay. All right. So, mom likes to work with her dumplings that, or her dough that she makes. Can you go really, really, really Not slow? Deep. Yeah. And actually, Amy, why don't you come here and make this one? I'm gonna watch you at first because I need to watch like really closely. Let me have a chat. Just describe no, what we're doing. You, you can just do it in your hand, right? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so you, here's where the bowl of water is important if you're using store-bought dough. So these ones are sticky enough that she can just pinch them and they'll stick together. These guys, you do need to use some water to get it stuck in. Uh, my mom is actually a lot better than me, um, and she can actually fill the dumpling and um, still shut it in. I, I, I need to have some space. So, we put the dumpling, how much filling was that? It's like was a tablespoon, it's about a tablespoon. That's too much, huh? So, 
if you're is beginning, it, if you're beginning, you should do a little less. If you are pro like my mom, you can stuff your okay. dumplings. Okay, so. And then do you, she flattens it. Hold on, so she flattens it like this. Mm -hmm. And then she's making like a, I don't want to say like a taco, but she's pinching the ends yeah. here. So, mommy, gao gao hui dimyonga. Okay. And as she pinches the end, she's folding, and mine's a little dry. I gotta use some water. Do you put water on? And you're kind of just bringing it in with your finger here. Yeah. And then just, it's just like, and on and on. So when I do this, this is where I'm gonna not be able to do this. We'll, so we'll put her in, let's go in really slow dumplings. here. Amy. Mommy, go slower. Go, go ahead. Or Amy yeah. too. And we could just kind of show the camera what we're doing here because Mommy, go ahead, go slower. I'm already. Okay, okay so. Maybe you, you lose the one or you the one. No, you can So you it. just slowly pleat. This is so bad. Mine's actually too dry. Yeah. So. Yeah. So why don't we. Can we actually have your mom really slowly do this? Yeah. There's a camera okay. that's right here that's so like right here. Perfect. And just go very, very slow. And I'm gonna cheat Perfect. and be off of camera and be horrible at this. And then Amy, maybe we can kind of show too mm -hmm. with like a really slow. So for those of you at home, just make sure that as you're making the dumpling, you have a, just put water around the edges so that it sticks. Um, my preference is to pleat from the center and then what you will um, oh, just, you yeah, so I start in the center. Pinch in the I pinch it in, in, in the center so it kind of looks like a taco. Um, and then what I do is I push. So my mom likes to pleat from the back. I pleat from the front. So I just bring it in and I'll pinch. And then I'll bring it in and I'll pinch. And then one more on the side. And then just make sure that um, you're pressing down and there's pressure so that it seals. And then the same for the other side, you'll just move it over, you'll pinch, move the skin over and pinch, and then move the skin over and pinch one more time. Now this dough that we have, the pre-made uh, dumpling dough, is a little dry, so you just make sure that there's a lot of pressure when you're making it, and that's how it should look. And you put water around the whole like the whole surrounding edge, the that way it circum sticks. The yeah. circumference? Circumference? I, don't know. I didn't go to, I didn't, I didn't finish college, so <laughs> that was crazy that I'm teaching a class. Um, so let me eat the chicken. Oh, okay, man. hold on. I gotta do this really slow because if y'all wanna see at home what Amy's look like compared to mine, first one, that looks like a nice little plump, um, fat, like. Oh, it's falling. Which one is yours? I'll give you one guess okay, which yes. one's mine. <laughs> um, so when I when I was a kid, what I would do um, is because I had no skills, you, you you can also just pinch it. Like if you, if if you don't want to do pleats, you don't have to. You can just pinch it. Just make sure that there's pressure and that they're stuck together. And it could be as simple as this if you need to at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is just like or brain. <laughs> Can I watch you do it one more time? Really yeah, slowly? let me go. I was like, okay, so I like that technique. I'll teach you. Teach you. <laughs> it's easy. 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 It's Chances are at home you're doing good. Another easy fold to do. <laughs> my, 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 my mom's way is a little more complicated for me. Another easy one to do um, is again, one, have your uh, water all around the edge. And then pinch towards the end. Can you help my mom wash your hands? Yes. Mom. Let me say someone. Um, and then what you'll do is you just bring a pleat in. So this is just a half crescent. You just bring it in and then pinch, and then bring it in and then pinch, and then bring it in and pinch again. So this is also another way to pleat that is from the front. And again, 
Um, just make sure that you're pinching the dough in um, if you're using store-bought dough, just to make sure that it's sealed. Can you, can you do that one more time? Because yeah. I think that was really helpful. And even though I can't do it. Here, can I? <laughs> So first, just make sure that you have your um, filling in the center. And then again, just make sure you put water around the edges so that it sticks. So this one is the easiest one. It's the one that I started off learning. You'll just pinch the very end. Okay. Pinch the end. Pinch the end. On one side. On one side. And okay. then you'll just bring the pleat in. And just make sure you press it down when you when the pleat is in, and then you'll scoot the pleat in again. It's the same action, four or five times, and then again, like oh, as sick. this is way easier. Yeah, it's way easier. Yeah. What, so what, as why did you tell me this to start? Fuck. Go hard mode first. <laughs> so then, um, again, like as you're going, make sure you're just applying pressure in, and make sure that the edges are sealed. Seals. The goal is to have sealed, right? Because yeah. when you cook this, you don't want the... All right, that's an improvement right there. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we, we hired Yeah, yeah. Good. No. Good. No? Ask her. Ask her. No. Ask her. No. Ask her. No. Yeah. Can we watch your mom do it again? Yeah. 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 Okay, can we watch her? Let's just watch her roll real quick. Well, I think it's really funny to be able to compare our dumplings yeah. to hers. Yeah, if you're hungry, you should learn this way because you're going to get a lot more filling in than mine. Mine's like... Oh, yeah. this one. Okay, this one. Okay. Yeah, can you just keep, we just keep yeah. all the few more here? My fingers really don't work. Like, my, we were joking around on my fingers, but all my fingers have been broken over the course of like, and some of them don't even straighten, so that like, Dexterity is not something um, that I have. Actually, also yesterday we did some hand exercises for those of you at home that like want to know that. Mom, can you show everyone that we did the hand exercises? She does this every day. Yeah. We so, did this, mom, and then we go. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom's made so many dumplings in her lifetime. Sometimes her hand hurts, yeah. um, and she was showing us hand exercises yesterday that she does at the restaurant to help her yeah, when she's in pain. And, we did, we and did then you pull few, your fingers. Pull her fingers and we did a few like squats too. A few squats just to make sure, because if you're standing here and just doing this for eight hours, like this is a lot of wear and tear on the body. Yeah. Um, I mean, those fingers have made um, hundreds of thousands of dumplings. A thousand a day times three. 30 years? Someone average did, six days a week? 30, 30 years? A thousand a, a day, thousand for a day. 350 days a year times 30 years. So I think one of the things that we were talking about, I was like, she, we were at dinner last night and she was showing us all of her dumplings and she showed me these, she had these like special order dumplings from this hotel and there were these like green spinach dumplings and there was a full sheet tray and I was like, how many of these? And she was like, that's like 120. And I was like, how long did it take you? And she was like 15 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. So. I thought it'd be cool if we could just watch your mom do them, like see how fast she can do, like what she would make them at home or like or make them at work mm -hmm. and just kind of show everyone like her real working speed. Because I think Should it's Should we grab a, a new ship yet? Yeah, so why don't you... Okay, mommy, which one? You can We could just watch her work yeah. and then I'll eat these later. Or I'll serve these to Brian. You know, <laughs> okay, you guys, mommy, you drink fire. Just kidding, Brian. Okay, so okay. we'll just get watch her work here and just kind of like plow well, through as many. So, she wants me to help because some of these are stuck together. Can I butcher these one, help me? So that's been 10 seconds and she just said two. Yeah, it's a little humid here, so some of this dough is sticking to the yeah. RM. I can't even get the dough. This is how bad I am. I can't even yeah. stick the dough. The dough is pretty sticky. Yeah. 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 Um, your mom's been so kind to, to show us how to do it. Um, and a lot of people at home are, are making them right now. But a few questions just around if you weren't 
if she weren't going slow for us and she wanted to go fast, the, how fast This is what she's doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. she's started 30 seconds ago, and she's at five. So, so she's, she's jamming. She can do around um, like 115 every 15, 10, 10, 15 minutes or so, depending on what the dumpling is. Um, so right now she's just going. And I'm giving her some messed up dough too. <laughs> Does she still, do you, I would like to know if your mom still enjoys eating dumplings, even if you, like, if I was making something, if I was making something a thousand times a day for 30 years, like, I think I would, like, not enjoy it as much, but does she still love dumplings? Mommy, they like, don't eat dumplings, ma. I don't eat Hold on, they don't eat Everybody. Mom says everyone loves dumplings. Everyone loves dumplings. Everyone so loves the dumplings. joy of dumpling, she has not lost the joy of dumpling, I mean, dumpling eating. Did special meal, or was it just for a um, yeah, so I think someone at home just asked, um, wh when you eat dumplings at home and when you like cook together, was it for a special occasion or is this just like a day off or is it just this is just like what you grew up with all the time eating? This is what I grew up with eating. Um, this is what I grew up eating. Um, she, we, we did make it on her day off, but the thing um, that we prefer doing is we, we, we make a ton. Um, we eat what we can for dinner, and then we freeze the rest. Um, and we'll show how to, you know, freeze later. Um, but it's, she worked a lot, so a lot of the time she wasn't home to make dinner so often. And, you know, sometimes she, we'd have leftovers in the fridge, but whenever we were hungry and we were home, um, us kids, we would just heat up a pot of water uh, and then just boil some dumplings because it's so easy, they're already made. and. Yeah. Um, I like freezing them now because, you know, if it's like 11.30, um, back when I used to work nights, I'd get home. You're a little stoned, <laughs> you pop some dumplings in, um, for sure. So, um, yeah, so let's talk, let's move into that. Let's like yeah. talk about cooking because um, I think we've made enough let's to Let's pan fry cook. these. So we'll pan fry these. Let's, and then let's, let's boil the, these. Yeah, these. We'll toss that one, that one that I did. We'll toss that one that we I did. We can boil these. And then we'll boil these. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. Um, if you're looking at home, I'm going to just show you real quick. We have like a pot of, no, it's not boiling water, but it was boiling. It wasn't like a super hard boil, um, but the water is definitely up. So um, we're going to drop in just a couple at a time, mm -hmm. right? Um, you don't want to overcrowd the pot because it's going to drop the temperature sure. of the water. Um, and that's just going to give you like a kind of like a gummy, gluey, mm -hmm. um, disgusting dumpling. So. You want to drop? I think I have a, a spider? we have like one old spider here that um, has been in the fire for a long time. So we want to drop them and then we'll yeah. kind of go. That's the nicest one we have. No, we threw away a bunch and then I have a bunch on order. And then I was like, this is the one I meant to bring one from home today. Um, but if you're not looking, this is our awesome spider. Did you, did you it's like, make that one by hand, Brady? Or like, what was the... So I'm just dropping in around eight to 10 at a time. Seen some uh, better days. So it doesn't drop the temperature too much. Yeah. Um, we did salt it earlier. Um, and basically we just wait for them to boil to the we top. Dropped them five seconds ago. And I'll kind of, if, for those of you following along at home, I'll time this thing on our clock here. Um, where do you want to land? You want to land in a bowl? Yeah, let's, let's do like a shallow bowl. So oh, we can make sauce too. Yeah, sauce. So let's, uh, let's pull these up. We'll pull these out. We'll let them. We'll let them rest real quick. You want to eat them like right away. Yeah. Like you want them hot. You want them to burn your mouth. Um, but really quickly, actually, like. Yeah. I'll yell at me. Like tell me how to make the sauce, and I'll do the sauce real quick. All right. So we're gonna do soy sauce. Um, about two okay. tablespoons. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, about a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, so sugar. Actually, was it two teaspoons? Two, two teaspoons, yeah. Two teaspoons, yeah. This might this, vary from what great. you have at home. Or just follow what you have at home. Uh, let's mix that up. And then we'll also throw in the sesame oil, a little bit of sesame oil. How much? Uh, like that, right? Preference, yeah. That's great. This is just, you're kind of just making a vinaigrette here. And, and then, then vinegar. Vinegar. 
And then what's your ratio of vinegar? So I do two tablespoons of, wait, 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 two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon vinegar. So some, your two, two soy sauce to one, one vinegar. One vinegar. What kind of vinegar? This is a rice wine vinegar. This is just like some standard basic like stuff that you can get. Um, some people like black vinegar, some people like aged brown vinegar. I love brown, vin brown vinegar. I, I like brown rice vinegar. Brown rice vinegar is like, yeah, mine. And I actually like a more, I like more vinegar mm -hmm. than soy sauce, and that's just preference. Like, I'm like two vinegar to one soy sauce. Like, I like to like pucker. So, really, there's no wrong way to do it. We have our sauce here. That's about a minute or so, so far. Yeah. So, they're floating, so they're floating to the top, which is like, like most things, kind of like a good sign that they're done. There's a few that are not floating Around yet. five five to six minutes boiling is typically what I give them just to make sure yeah. that the filling is cooked. Um, this is just ginger that we chopped up earlier. That we have left over. That you, that you have left over. Oh wait, wait, we have, um, and then. Ginger is great. This is our secret recipe, secret too. We oh, use this. Everything. On everything. Everything. I use everything at home. We use this a lot in the restaurant actually. Um, it's like, Kind of a secret ingredient. We never buy it. It's the Lagan La um, spicy, chili, chili spicy crisp. crisp. Um, and I like a little bit of a kick, and I'm gonna throw that in there and spot everything. That'll make it hurt a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're making a mess here, but. So we're like two or three minutes in. We're just gonna continue to let this go. A little bit longer. Meanwhile, mom's just making dumplings for us to snack as soon as we're done filming, which I'm really stoked about. Um, I think Brian, anyone in this restaurant, Brian Candles loves dumplings um, more more than anyone else. So he's just sitting here salivating. So he'll, he'll get one. One of the first conversations I remember with Brian is him walking in on a day where I made dumplings for for family meal lunch. He looked at me and said, "Dumplings are my love language." <laughs> And I was like, true. all right. Brian I and I also it. had a side bet. Our side bet every year is uh, in fantasy football is the loser has to buy the winner um, dumplings. And for those of you that are keeping score at home, Brian lost to me in fantasy football this year. Uh, and owes, you owe me a dumpling lunch here uh, pretty soon, Brian. Um, and this doesn't count, by the way. I know you're paying for this, <laughs> and I know that you flew her in, but like this doesn't fucking count. So um, we're at like three and a half minutes right now, three-ish. I'm sure there's some people with stopwatches at home. So keeping track, but um, it's like three or four. These are the ones that my mom made, the, 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 yeah. so the uh, dumpling the, dough. They're the fresher dough, so that should yeah. be a slower, or a, a less a, cooking time. A less cooking time. So the long, the pre-made stuff. The five to six minutes. The store-bought dough is five to six minutes. And then my, the ones that my mom made are probably closer to three to four right now. So I, I would say that these are done. They're, they're up to the top. You can kind of see. Um, Does mom agree? You need that, Maya. She says just a second longer, but you can kind of see like the. What, what are you? What is she looking for? The, 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 the back of the dumpling is kind of like shriveled like this. That's like a sign that it's it's almost done and ready to go. Um, she said to turn the heat up. I don't know if we can. No, this induction burner is. It's up. Um, okay. Yeah. Here we can also move it back here if we need to. But pretty much, um, when they start floating to the top, as as long as you've sealed them correctly, um, that should mean that they're pretty much cooked and ready to go. Um, and that's the first way that we're gonna cook it. We're also gonna show you how to pan fry them as well. Um, and to do that, you do need a pan with a lid or some way to seal it. Uh, we don't have a pan with a lid, so we're just gonna yeah, use two Yeah, we don't two, have lids in this pans. restaurant, just like we don't have spiders, apparently. Um, we've been making burgers and stuff, so I don't really... A whole lot of the Can I pull these? Yeah, these are perfect. So I'm going to pull some of these out right okay. here. Drain off the water, just be careful. I'm going to drop them. My mom says she wants to. Uh, Try one? Uh, no, she wants to use your filling. Oh, please. <laughs> She's out. Oh, yes. She needs more bubbles. Okay, so we got that here. Three up. Brian, you want one? Can you come on camera? Right yes. Here, I'll split this up because we have to be like. Uh, if you're going to freeze them, when do you freeze them? So, um, basically, the way that my mom has them right now, you just want them on a sheet pan or a plate or something. 
Um, just make sure it fits in your freezer. I've definitely put them all in a sheet pan and realized it doesn't go in, it doesn't fit in the freezer. So you just put them single file. I preferably, I generally like to have some sort of wax paper or something underneath. Uh, so that, good. <laughs> so good. That way. They're very um, hot, but they're so good. They're very hot. Um, that, uh, that way, once, once they're frozen, yeah. you can actually remove them off of the uh, tray that they're on. So you just put them single file, put them in the freezer, um, set an alarm for two hours. You Otherwise, you will forget. Um, and you might have some freezer burnt dumplings, but after around two hours, they should be hard enough so that you can lift them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, and you can keep yeah. them for around three to four months uh, in the freezer. When Amy, when Amy drops them off, she just drops them off. It's kind of like a drug deal. She just like, has them in like a Ziploc bag and just like, <laughs> it's bag, like here. shows up at your house, doesn't get out of the car, and then hands you some dumplings. So. Mm. They're so good. All right. Okay, so then let's pan fry some okay, more. Well. Ooh. So what they got, Joe? Pen. Everyone's just remarking. Every I feel like okay. we need to oh. give Jason one. Jason, are you good? Oh, God, so good. He doesn't want to. <laughs> Jason, Jason doesn't want to drip. Apparently, Jason was Hold like, on. we were talking about like making dumplings today. Jason's yeah, like, yeah, I made dumplings like two days ago. So apparently, everyone here was having dumplings with me. So we're just gonna put some okay, oil okay, in the okay, pan. Okay, no good. Too okay. No too much oil. Follow my mom. Oh, okay, oh. okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So sorry. No too much. Um, so just make sure you have a pan that can um, that has a lid or some sort. Um, we're just gonna put some vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you have at home, um, into the pan and just heat it up. How long does this one take? Huh? This induction burner. It's pretty hot. It's kind of hot, Jason. We'll give it like ten seconds. Uh, one <laughs> thing to like kind of look for is the oil starts to ripple. Uh, so if you're not using a non-stick, a non-stick will, no, will, no, will work fine, you. but the oil should ripple. You want more oil? Is it? Huh? Is it hot enough? I think it's hot, but it's pretty fucking, pretty hot. <laughs> Sorry. Look at this Sorry. one I mounted. Sorry for those with... Look at this one, Brady. Whoa, that's like a, uh, uh, a color geo. Yeah. I was saying that wrong. But that's a really cool shape. Can we show that to the camera? Yeah. She's doing different shapes. What is the history behind that shape, or is there a tradition behind it? Oh. Wow. Can you get close? Wow. Hold on one second. Sure. It's like a little baby. Baby, um, what, like, can you ask your mom, like, traditionally, what, what did she grow up with a certain kind of shape? Wesley, a bandage shape. Mommy, can you One's just prettier than, than, than the <laughs> other. This one's probably quicker. Now she's, so, so, now so, she's, so, so now, this one now is now interesting. Just flexing on everyone. Yeah. She's like, I'm not yeah. going to teach you this one. You can't figure it out. You know. It's pretty hot, Amy. Okay, great. All right, so we got a hot, ripping Mommy, hot Jenga. pan. More oil okay. or no? Okay, we'll probably need around half a cup of water to put in oh, after a minute. So she's just putting the dumplings in single. Make sure that they're not touching. You can hear so the crackling. Oil. Yeah, that's less oil than I would have. Thought, which is interesting. It's cool. We're just using like canola oil or grapeseed oil. You're, you want to use any neutral oil. The water. Um, water. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, so dun. you want to let it fry for about 20 to 30 seconds and gonna, then we'll add water. I'm going to show the overhead real quick, kind of like how that looks. Am I, am I on that, guys? Cool. So that's kind of what we have here. Make sure your pan's ripping. Like you don't. If your pan's not hot enough, it's gonna stick, and you're gonna like all that hard work that you didn't do. Um, when, uh, when the oil is, 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 is rippling. Yeah, when you put the oil in, you want to ripple or Three, see it ripple. Ten seconds. Wait, I'm on one. Okay. Cover. Uh, no, first, we need to do water. So we we need to make sure that, that this is hot because when we put the water in, it's gonna help steam it. Um, so about half a cup of water will go into the pan. I'll let you do it. I'm not gonna mess this up. Mommy, don't you? Wait, wait, wait. This, this, this is the uh, dumpling water. Let's let's grab some fresh water. Oh, well. yeah. yeah. Cold water. Uh, this, this, this is fresh, fresh water. Mommy, hi, bake it. Do, bong ya pina. All right. So that's around um, a little over half a cup of water, and then we're just we don't have a six lid. Minutes. Six minutes. So six minutes on the timer. So in six we're just gonna minutes, stay here for six minutes, and I'm gonna eat another dumpling. Um, 
These are so good. We actually have more, actually, Mom, we have more boiling back here we could do too if you want to do yeah. that. But, um, what, do you, what kind of dumplings do you make at your restaurant? Do you do chow long bao or does she do, what other things does she make? Mommy, the chow make a soup dumpling, a chow long bao. No sam. No chow long bao? No sam. No, 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 she, she, she does it, she's saying, but it's different. Mommy, do you want to make a so she's saying that she also does sh uh, shu mai. Um, it's boiling a little. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's fine. No, we should keep it hot. Um, yeah, so when she makes the uh, shu mai, the dough is the same except. Uh, she adds eggs instead, so that is an egg Orange. wrapper. Yeah, so that is an egg wrapper. Um, she also does, you know, all the different types of dim sum. Um, so that's, you know, like the taro cakes, and she also makes like the sesame balls. Um, something she's really proud of is she does pastry, um, mm. and she makes really crazy egg tarts, and um, basically like your, the stuff that you get when you go and do dim sum. Um, she does it all. And I grew up, that, that's what I grew up eating, and I have a hard time finding that stuff here in Seattle sometimes. It's the same as hers, so um, it's really nice to have her here, and she's been cooking for me all week. She could, yeah, yeah. She's making more dumpling dough so that we can have some more. I'm sorry, it's got really hot by I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're so happy that she's here cooking for us oh my God. and showing us the master. She really is a master of craft. Um, for those of you at home, just a reminder that uh, next week um, we will be uh, doing another cooking demo or whatever you want to call this. I don't know what this is called, but we're going to be hanging out with um, Mel Miranda from um, Yu Song, uh, which are, um, if you're not familiar, is a fantastic um, Philippines restaurant in Beacon Hill. Uh, she's a dear friend of mine. I'm hoping to get our wine director Nelson to Kip. Uh, who's a, a good friend as well uh, of hers. We're gonna make some lumpia and uh, some pansi, so two traditional di dishes. Um, and I'm like really just stoked to hang out with her. She's one of my dear friends here uh, in, t in town. Um, oh yeah, well, I think we should do some Q&A, right? Like I think maybe we could do a few while we're waiting. We have six minutes or four minutes of this. Favorite dim sum? In I like Jade Garden. Um, I haven't been out to too many, actually. I feel like I have not explored the dim sum scene as much as I, I've wanted, but Jay Garden is usually where I go. Yeah. Um, well, you make it, you just make dumplings yourself. Yeah, I, 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 I just make, make them at home. It's usually when people are in from out of town that I'll go get dim sum with them. Um, but I, I, I also grew up eating my mom. My mom's actually a great cook in general, so um, when I get homesick for like Cantonese food, Honey Court is the Honey spot. Honey Court is. Honey court down in the ID is, is great. And then cow cow for um Char soup? For yeah, for cha cha soup pork. Um yeah, I grew up eating that stuff. So when I, I when, I when asked I get mom homesick, actually yesterday because we were talking about honey court yesterday, I was like, how do you make the honey walnut prawns? And she was like, Oh, this is how you do it. And I was scribbling notes on how to make honey walnut prawns. <laughs> What's the next question? Can you shout out again her restaurant, where it is, what they're called? Yeah. They can visit her. So She's so she, <laughs> so she's not based in Seattle, sadly. Uh, maybe someday I'll get her up here. Um, but right now she's at a restaurant called Happy Valley Seafood uh, in Norcross, Georgia. So she is in Atlanta. It's around 20 minutes outside of Atlanta. Uh, and yeah, she's been there for not too long now, actually. She recently just switched restaurants, so she, she moved over there. Um, she's been helping uh, redevelop some of their, their recipes and um, you know, just getting their, their game up, up to point. Something that I thought was really interesting a few years ago is when I got in the fine dining scene, I actually, you know, was trying to leave restaurants Mom. because this, this wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. I, like, recognized that it was a lot of hard work. Okay. Um, okay. But I ended up going into fine dining, you know, I'm, like, looking at, you know, Eater every once in a while. And I remember one day just checking out Eater Atlanta and on the front page is the restaurant that my mom was at named like one of the best like dim sum in Atlanta. And I was just like, my mind was blown. I was like, this is my mom. Of course. So it was, of course. and like, she doesn't read that stuff. She has no idea. Um, 
she has no idea what you know what what she's doing right now or why she's at Canlis or what's happening. Um, but it's just really cool to be able to share. One of the questions she asked, she was like, "Why are you guys doing a college?" Yeah, you know, she's like, like, "Why are you guys doing a school?" But um, you know, but it was super fun to yeah. Is there uh, is there a number that's set to? So she starts at 10 when it's like a thicker dough and then slowly she moves it down like by even numbers as she's working. She's taking um, it all the way down. Right now she's number? down at uh, two, almost three. Yeah. She, I think she took it, she took it down to zero earlier. Sorry. Is it going zero there? Everyone's I believe there. so, yeah. It looked like it was at I'll zero. I'll check it. Okay, got and it. And then if I'm wrong, then I'm totally just interjected because I can't. I'm the one person that doesn't know what they're doing here. Yeah, it looks... Okay, so that's it. So oh, that's no, it's two. Number. Sorry. So, two. Two. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I don't know shit. Stuff. I don't know anything. Did we set six minutes? I didn't look. Has anyone at home been keeping a timer? Okay, <laughs> we're okay. Not. Yeah, that's about six minutes. So, you, so, no so we need to just let it cook so the water boils off. So take, oh. the, take the lid off. Oh, okay. So, so if you're looking at home, there's still a little bit of residual water in the pan. Are you there? And then wait. mom is checking it. So you just let the water boil off so it gets crispy. So we're going to let the water boil off. You're going to be left with the oil. Don't worry. It's going to splatter a little bit. But at this point, the most of it should be actually kind of emulsified. The water is going to evaporate. You're going to be left with the oil. And then uh, from there, it's going to give it uh, a kind of crispy finish. Right? Is that correct? Yes. Sorry, I was watching my no. mom. Does your mom like to eat them boiled or fried? Mommy, I like to eat it like this. I like to eat it My mom says this one, she, it's, she, she likes both. She says this one is more fragrant when she eats it. This one has a better mouthfeel because it's foil and it's velvety. It's like a more velvety texture. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Add a little too much water. She's not used to this one. But just let it fry. You might have added just a little bit too much water. Also, our pan might not have been hot enough, which is my fault. Okay, mommy, cake. My mom said to add just a little bit more oil in so that it fries. Okay. So we just added a little bit more oil around the rim so it kind of goes down and then uh, that'll help like loosen up mm -hmm. um, the dumpling. We had a little bit too much water. Um, it should be kind of like, they should kind of like slide a little bit. Um, right now it's just adhering to the pan. So if they stick, yeah, just add a little bit of oil to them. How do you know when it's Six minutes. Six minutes. <laughs> six minutes. So it's 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 six minutes, and, and then we generally flip them really quickly, just so the other side also gets a little crispy for about Sorry, a minute. Somebody's asked how how do they know it's cooked? We're getting a bunch of questions here from someone not on mic. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but they're like, how do you know when it's cooked? And we just said six minutes because. Uh. Yeah. So they're generally cooked um, around the six to eight minute mark. Um, again, it depends on if you're using fresh wrappers or. Um, ones that are store bought. These are fresh wrappers, and generally, if you're steaming them for about six minutes, they should be cooked. Um, you can also cook them from frozen. Maybe just add three or four minutes to the cook time. To the to the steaming time, right? To to to, to the boil time, yeah. and I've never tried to fry them from frozen though. I generally boil them inside. Oh, I've done the gyoza from frozen. Okay. Yeah, you just have to be careful because they're gonna splatter a ton. Yeah. Maybe use a non-stick pan. Uh, start with a little bit more oil. All the water is gonna naturally like kind of, or like the front, like the ice is gonna like create the water in the seam. Add a little bit of water, cover it. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. So the sauce, um, as they're looking at that, is really a thing of preference. So we did about a table, two tablespoons of soy sauce. Um, a half tablespoon, or a, sorry, a half teaspoon of sugar. Uh, sesame is like to your preference. We did a teaspoon yeah. or so, and then we did one teaspoon of rice wine and vinegar. 
Um, we also added chili flake. We also added ginger. You could add scallion, right? Yeah, like so that scallion, is. cilantro. Um, um, there's a ton of different recipes online. This is just the simple one that we do here. And vinegar is strictly preference, right? The amount of vinegar that you use is strictly a point of preference. So these um, are sticking to the bottom because we didn't use a nonstick pan. But yeah. here's one. Yeah, yeah let's, show, let's show everyone a quick look. Can you hang that so on the so these are a little bit harder. <laughs> well, it's sticking now. <laughs> so we used a. Uh, so we used a pan that's not nonstick, which is probably dumb of us. We should have probably used a nonstick pan. Um, my mom's trying to do the next round. So I'm gonna put this in the back. Yeah, we'll do the next round. We're gonna do the next round. I think for ourselves, we're gonna eat these regardless. Hopefully, uh, did it stick to the pan, um, but our pan wasn't hot enough. Um, want to thank Amy and Quan. Thank you for being here, Mom. Thank you. Thank you for working hard for us, um, coming here to work and do what you do and share like your passion um, and your craft with us. Like you truly are a master. Um, and we're so so happy to have you here, and we're really excited. Um, yeah, to just share this with, with everyone at home. So, next week, yeah, next week we got Mel from You Song on Wednesday. There's some other classes this week. Just go to canlist.com. Yeah, I don't know. Go to canlist.com. There's a uh, the community call there. Uh, and we'll, we'll see you soon. Thanks, y'all. Right. That was long. Dumpling time. That's a lot. That's a lot. Amazing.